Here are some tips about how to stop losing things when you have ADHD. And the first thing to do is to actually do minimalism or start using minimalism because of the fact that you're only keeping the things that you need, use, or really like. Everything else you're trying to get rid of, you don't wanna have extra clutter around your home or apartment. And the reason this is good is because it's gonna give you more space and it's gonna give you an easier time to find things because if you just keep in the items that are essential, then you don't have as many things that items can hide behind or items could be under something else or you just have more than you actually need in a room and it's all cluttered up. And here's something else that will keep you from losing things. Divide your home into different zones. Different things go in different places in your home and only that type of thing that you've designated for that place goes into that zone. So for example, you have a toy zone, coffee zone, maybe you have a laundry zone where you have all your laundry clothes and everything like that. Maybe you have, you know, an entertainment zone and only entertainment things go in that area. When you're in your home, when you're in your apartment and you're looking around trying to figure out where something is, you know that, hey, that thing should be in this zone. That thing should be in this place. Or you find something around the home and you're like, wow, you know, I don't know why this is here. Then you know automatically, hey, it's not in the right zone. I need to take it over there because I know all the stuff in that zone is the same. This is going to make it really easy because then you're going to be able to, after a while, just remember where things go. It makes it so much easier to know where things are. So you don't have to go looking all around your whole home to figure out where something is. You know it should be located in this certain place. And here's something else that will help. Make sure everything in your home has an actual place in your home. So that way you know exactly where something should be. Hey, that remote should be in this area. So I know that it should stay on the couch on this side. If it's not there, I need to go ahead and find where it is. Now, if you see something that's out of place, you also know exactly where it goes. So you don't have to like, just, you don't randomly just put it somewhere, you know, Hey, I found it. You know, it's not in this right place. I'm going to pick it up and take it to that place that it's supposed to go. And here's something else you should always do that will help you from actually losing things is to whenever you find something out of place, pick it up and immediately put it back in its place in your home. And you don't want to like pick it up and then move it to somewhere else thinking, oh, you know, I'll just move it here for now and I'll come back and get it later. Well, that can result in you not coming back to get it later because you won't remember that you put it there and losing it again after you find it. You're going to go directly to the place where it goes and put it back. That's going to help you be able to keep track of things and actually not lose things as much. And here's something else that you should do. Make sure that you keep the important stuff, if possible, at eye level, because what is the first place that you look for is anything at eye level first. And then you might look up or down, right or left, you know, trying to find things. But if you have that thing immediately in front of you and you can see it at your eye level, it's going to be easier to find. You're going to find it quicker and that's going to be a great thing for you and you won't lose things as much because if you don't see it and you know it's supposed to be there then you automatically know okay hey i need to go find it i know that's the place for it it should be there let me go find it and figure out where it is and then put it back into its place if this also works in your refrigerator to understand where the important foods are or your pantry you can do it this way as well all this is, is a way to make sure the important things are seen first. So you know if they're there or not there. And some thoughts that you should have on the important things that you need to make sure you find all the time are some item trackers, maybe something like a tile or maybe air tags. These are things that you can use on your items so that you can look it up on your phone and see where that item is. You can make that item buzz so that it's just easier to find. And that way it's really hard to lose an item. You can even on the tile app, you can look on there and see where something's located. Maybe you're far away. You can actually get on your computer and then see if it's located in your home or wherever the item is located. And here's something else you should do. Use color to your advantage. That way, when you go and look for something, you know that something is a specific color. Like if you have your cell phone, you know you need to make sure that you keep track of your cell phone. Put your cell phone in a particular color case. That way you can look around and see if that color is there. It's going to make it easier to find your cell phone. You need to find your keys all the time. Put a different color keychain around your keys. That way it's very easy to look around and find your keys. And if you want to put like stickers on different things to, to denote where something is, like you just add a sticker to something and say this color represents this. And then you're able to look over and see that color and see what may be inside a container 
or what that thing may be or even just being able to visually look over and then look for a sticker and say okay hey i see that sticker over there it must be over there so you're going to just have things in particular colors or put something around something that is a particular color and that's going to make it very easy to see whatever you're trying to see in your home and find things quicker because you have the important things the things that you really need in these different colors and here's something else that will help you keep track of things and not lose things when you think hey i've checked it once i've checked it twice i still don't see it check one more time however many times you checked it check one more time because a lot of times that extra time will be where you find it or will be where you actually remember where it is and it's just dealing when you have adhd you just sometimes need that extra time to actually find something to actually see something to actually remember something i've checked it twice let me check it one more time i've checked it three times when i usually check it three times you know let me check it that one more time now you don't have to keep going and going and going just an extra time over the amount of times that you would normally check something do it just an extra time just to make sure that you have checked everywhere to make sure that hey something doesn't jog your memory as to where it is just to make sure that you have done a thorough thorough search and here's something else to do when you're like i've looked everywhere i can't find it i can't really think about where it is go ahead take a break because sometimes taking a break letting your mind get a rest and then coming back and looking at something again will help you to remember it, will help you to look at it in a new perspective, will help you to kind of brainstorm around it and say, okay, I have new ways or new things, new places to look for that I think it might be. Because sometimes you just get to the point to where you've been doing something for a long time, you just get stressed out, you just are, you know, your brain has just gotten to the point where it's like, okay, enough, I'm not gonna be thinking about this anymore. So at that point, just go ahead take a break let your brain rest and then come back and approach it again and see if you can find the thing when you do come back and here's something definitely to do if you're trying to think about where something is and can't think about it can't find it go ahead get a pen piece of paper and start brainstorming and writing down all the places it could be or any random thought that comes to your brain right then you're trying to figure out where this thing is and you end up thinking about something else real quick write that down too on that piece of paper and just when you go back and review it just disregard that thing and throw it off to the side it doesn't have to be anything that actually applies to you finding the item you just want to get all your ideas down on a piece of paper so you can go back review and say okay i've gone here and here and here and here okay there's three or four different places i haven't looked yet so let me go look at there first but this is going to be a good process because it's going to help you to work through all the different places you think it could be now remember at the very beginning where I talked about minimalism and how it can help you, I have a video about how minimalism can actually simplify your life when you have ADHD. You can watch that video on this channel right now.